Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, brilliant diamond minds of indestructible light. Happy Mother's Day to our blessed divine feminine goddesses all over the world who are bringing in and raising our crystal rainbow diamond children of the new earth manifestation. We appreciate and bow to all our beloved mothers of the evolution of human consciousness of the new Lemuria rising. We had another heat wave today of higher gamma plasma electrical light flowing in through the great central sun directly from the Most High. We are being elevated through the spirals of time into the higher realms of bliss and peace in the light of the Holy Spirit. With these intense energetics flowing in, we had two major spikes on the Schumann charts today at amplitudes of 40 and 42 hertz. Fifth dimensional resonance anchoring in. Pachamama also received another powerful activation today on the Ring of Fire with a magnitude 5.8 earthquake in Shimoda, Japan at 1821 UTC. All star seed earth angelics of the 144 are breaking through and dissolving all obstacles and barriers to our full planetary liberation. Continue to rise in the glory of our Christo Sophia consciousness and bridge the two worlds of heaven and earth through your sacred heart center. We are on the precipice of the quantum leap of consciousness into the new human we call Homo Luminous. The prophecy of the eagle and the condor has come to full fruition as all divine unions in Heros Gamos are fulfilled and we anchor in the highest love and compassion into the quantum field and shift all sentient beings into the new golden age of eternal life. As you sit in the stillness and silence within and mind reflects clearly your Buddha nature of pure awareness, all things are perfectly resolved in the enlightenment of our bright virtue. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer of intent. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 26 degrees, 54 minutes Pisces. The sun is at 24 degrees, 2 minutes Taurus. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 25 degrees Taurus. A large, well-kept public park. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 27 degrees Pisces. A harvest moon illuminates the sky. From astrologyweekly.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Valerie A. Elster. Brain body mapping updates. Felt like new circuitry finalized last night. Hind brain and prefrontal cortex. New avatar templates. Feeling this so strongly today. All of this magic filtering down towards the collective consciousness, becoming crystallized thought forms that arise in a person's mind when they are ready for the Satori moment. It will grace their being as Gnosis. They will know. This knowledge will arise. From ValerieElster.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Your fire is back or just about to. You are coming out of a phase of thinking, feeling into things, preparing, understanding, about to feel guided to take actions, plan ahead, make real changes. This fire is sacred. It's your soul calling you forward. At this specific point, so much has changed that you could feel different about things that used to be key. It is okay. You don't have to share everything with everyone just now. Your inner sacred space is changing. Allow it. You are about to feel more joy, more ease, more energy to be propelled forward. Your next cycle has never been that close. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Linda Lee 
Dear family of love and light, the divine has been busy carrying out the divine intervention to clear some areas, some souls and light workers on earth. The divine says that the divine intervention has made a lot of progress. As a result, the planet is much lighter. A lot of souls who have been liberated and cleared. Right now, the divine says that the divine intervention is going to continue, and for some areas and souls, the divine intervention is going to intensify. And partially, it is because the demand of the work and clearing effort. The divine says that there are some souls who need a great deal of clearing, and the clearing process will take some time. The divine asks us to keep up the good work and continue to support the divine effort. Know that the divine intervention is desperately needed, and per Gaia's request, the intervention will need to continue for a while. Some lightworkers need more of the clearing than others. Plus, overall, humanity is also in need of the clearing. So while the divine is carrying out the special operations and intervention, the divine says that Gaia's ascension process has been going well. For that, the planet and humanity is very grateful. Gaia is very pleased, and lightworkers, too, feel lighter every day. Know that the divine plan is working well. All is in the divine's control. All is well indeed. Linda Lee, Gaia, the divine, and the company of heaven, so it is. And from divine sister of the light, Amera, Atlantis. Messages from the Mer world. The spirals of time are wide open. Many of us are feeling the non-linear spiral of healing ebbing and flowing through as we are immersed in the macro to the micro sweeping changes and purges of the planet. If you are feeling extra sensitive, triggered, or revisiting timelines of situations thought released and healed, you are simply mirroring nature's cleansing through the elements and the astrology. Fire, water, earth, air, spirit, and the cosmic sweeps are resetting our foundations through extreme movement and glorious and dramatic formations that seem to change day by day. This will be reflected in your emotions if you feel a little like you are dying. You are. Those timelines collapse as your soul-led future self asks you to dissolve the former identity, relationships, and attachments and timelines. The rebirthing is happening day by day as our new earth threads us through the needle's eye again and again and again. Instead of resisting the storm, stay within the eye. As alchemists, our power is in wielding all of the elements as tools for transformation and living archetypes as great magicians, high priestesses, emperors, empresses, teachers, lovers, god, goddesses, and sovereign captains of our destinies. Resist fighting the birthing. It is uncomfortable to grow and release all paradigms that feel so comfy and be willing to become bigger. Through unwavering trust in the grand architect of the universe, we are realigning and rewriting the Atlantean timelines. We are course-correcting the creative destruction of the experiment of Atlantis. The great shift is in full motion, stay brave. The best is yet to come, and you have a divine invitation to witness Atlantis Lemuria rising. Amera Atlantis, star of the sea, from ameraatlantis.com And from divine sis star of the light, Aluna Joy Yashkin, we are receiving and assimilating entirely new levels of light, life, information, and upgrades. This has been greatly amplified by the full moon eclipse in Scorpio on May 5th. We are still having many significant magnetic storms since the eclipse. It was a bumpy night, but a bumpy week as well. We have been feeling a lot like we are in a pressure cooker since the eclipse. There has been really no place to hide from the things we have been avoiding. New information is coming in and it is forcing all things that are out of alignment to the surface. This can make us feel incredibly emotional. This is new information we have never been exposed to before. This is the ever-changing path of evolution. Anytime we absorb a new level of light, it can cause us to feel confused, uncertain, and we might feel a little lost as we come to understand all the new levels of ourselves that are now anchoring within us. 
The greatest knowing is that the heart always hears the truth. The mind is just a recording and is always from the past. Always listen to the heart. From the star elders. The iron in your blood is attracting new magnetic energy particles from your sun during magnetic storms. This is how each step forward always begins. These particles are ever-evolving energy, light or life. The sun floods earth, humanity and all life with magnetics as an act of evolution, an act of unconditional universal love. It activates the iron in your blood. This alters and upgrades consciousness, perspectives, memory and upgrades your natural abilities as well after which you begin the process to integrate each wave. Our ancestors on earth, the ancients, understood that blood was the life for a reason. It is one of the uncountable things we taught humanity before we left to go back to the stars for a time. This is why the sacred tree of the Maya is the Siba tree, because the sap is red. It is symbolic to help future generations to remember the life. Ancient ancestors knew about the sacredness and importance of the sun and the pulsing life in your veins and the spirit in your breath. We are, you are, the sun, moon, and the stars, and they are us. From alunajoy.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusel, The Divine Feminine Blinding White Light with Touches of Pink she epitomizes love in the highest degrees. She knows you inside out as she gave birth to your soul. When she appears in her radiance, there is always the arms enfolding you like wings, and your heart opens. Such beautiful, unconditional, and all-embracing love often will bring tears of inner joy and deep heart stirring. As such love you cannot experience on earth, it goes beyond words. The Holy Sophia, white with gold or more gold and white, often appears with a golden scroll or golden books of wisdom. Or she will appear holding the caduceus in her hand, the lightning rod around which two serpents twirl. This was the staff of heralds in ancient Greece, thus those who come with a profound message. The more you invite the Holy Sophia to work with you, the more she will awaken the deepest wisdom of your soul. The Shekinah, white golden, appears often as a white dove descending in a halo of white and golden light. She may sometimes place a halo around your head like a crown. Shekinah means dwelling or presence. She illumines the divine knowing within you. From JudithKusel.com and today from Ascension Lightworkers, the Ascension energy has shifted. It feels denser in the collective. We have been receiving high frequency energies for some time, and it can feel uncomfortable for the physical body to function. It can also activate the shadows which can create anxiety. The physical is upgrading. Many are reacting and experiencing brain fog, body aches, sinus dental issues, flu congestion, and many other ascension symptoms. The past week and especially the last 48 hours have felt extremely intense due to the recent increase in solar storms and sun flare activity. You may be feeling an increase in overwhelm and oversensitivity, emotional, anger, anxious, or going through physical pain. You may be feeling you have increased energy. Star seeds, the mind is no longer processing information in the same way it once used to, as you are occupied in anchoring light into your surroundings, a time to ground into the new earth energy. Unfortunately, this energy can also intensify our shadows, bringing to light what may need more attention, causing some anxiety and fear to arise. As we continue to change, our emotional body may also be in reaction mode, due to this ascension spike. Things can feel overwhelming. You may be feeling lost, confused, and doubting where you find yourself at present, concerns of moving forward with unsure direction. There may be situations where you are feeling blocked in some way or as though things are stuck, unsolvable through the mind. Trust that while you might be metaphorically at a standstill in the outer world, there is a much deeper level 
that is an important part of the ascension journey taking place within that is necessary to align the energy before you will get the intuitive signs to move forward this transformative process can be uncomfortable and painful but it ultimately leads to a more evolved and embodied self higher ascension in self is always an inside job each ascending individual is actively participating in their own personal conscious growth and development each ascending soul is at a unique stage in evolution this means that there can be a wide gap in soul development between you and your loved ones spanning thousands or even millions of years trying to help others awaken to deeper truths can be very challenging as we cannot force others to understand more than they are ready to receive it's always important to focus on your own evolution and let your energy keep doing the work to impact the ascending world. The higher the dimension, the smaller the tribe. Ascension is a personal journey that requires grounding high vibrational energies into the physical realm through multidimensional shifts, adjustments, and changes. Many star seeds, light workers, and awakening souls are currently undergoing mental, physical, emotional, energetic, and spiritual upgrades. In the next coming weeks, you will feel a sense of needed relief and lightheartedness, feelings within self you may not have experienced or felt for quite some time. You will also experience a heightened ability to see through anything that lacks integrity and move away from it without fear or any judgment. This is a strong sign that you are stepping into your true, higher power. Taking the quantum leap. There will come a time in your life on the ascension path when you are required to abandon everything that feels safe or like a comfort zone and all that you have known to ever be true and set off on a journey into the unknown and unseen. Trusting the path may not be easy, but it is necessary for evolutionary growth. You are ascending to new heights. In loving and devoted lightworker starseed service, Ascension Lightworkers. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Community of Light. Know we stand in the billions, aligned to Mother Gaia. Our DNA is interconnected to every being, aligning billions across the galaxy who intuitively connect to the ancestral origins of us. Every star and planet is our ancestral brother and sister of light. Know we are a multidimensional light community. Hold this light, thought, feel the global community of light. For this is the light bridge to disclosure, of expansion, support, and unity. Your role now is to trust the path, trust the unfoldment, your inner knowing, your light flow. Trust. From KarenLithica.com and today from here in the moon astrology sunday may 14th 2023 live it own it mean it if you've been feeling scattered lost without an anchor or a purpose recently take heart the planets are moving on on monday mercury turns forwards in taurus and clarity gradually returns start tying up loose ends finishing projects and resolving outstanding issues on Tuesday, May 16th, gas giant Jupiter enters Taurus for the first time since 2011 to stay until May 2024. Less than 24 hours later, the great expansionist squares Pluto in Aquarius. Mars in Leo conjuncts the node of fate in Taurus. Every sign will notice this ground-shaking shift. Jupiter is often described as bringing luck but luck is created when you're willing to take risks, follow your hunches, and take every opportunity to expand your world. A stunningly auspicious new moon on the 29 master degree of the Buddha's sign of Taurus and the Pleiades has the potential to awaken your chakras. Taurus symbolizes the world third eye and the pineal gland, the ancestral master cell of untapped DNA. It is plugged into the enormous light of the seven hotly burning blue-white stars of the Pleiades, the central sun acting as a channel or gateway to the light of this tremendous center. This new moon is especially lucky financially. 
If you have personal planets and points at 24 to 30 degrees of the fixed signs Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, and a 1 to 2 degrees of the mutable signs Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, conjunct resurrection archetype Sedna, the new moon forms a harmonious triangle with Pluto and Aquarius, Neptune and Pisces, and Mars and Cancer. Sedna combines heredity, evolutionary change, and spiritual development into the soul's path of destiny. The message is clear. It's time to commit to embodying and embedding in everyday life the future you want to create. Choices have to be made and stances taken. Actions matter more than intentions. Spread risk with additional income streams. Deliver more than you promise. Be impeccable with your word, transparent and honest. Don't be a consumer who never evolves into a creator. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Jupiter and Aries, semi-sextile Sedna and Taurus. Both Jupiter and Sedna are on the final degrees of their signs. Jupiter brings an urgency for independence, a huge desire for a mission or quest, heat-filled anticipation of things to come. It's expansive, buoyant, sometimes over the top, and yet there may be an equal urge to bloom where we are planted, settle for what we have, hold on to the present moment for all it's worth. What we are working on now may go beyond this current incarnation. This is a lesson in the history of the soul, lifetime after lifetime of discovering inner resources, gifts, values, and what it means to live in this material dimension. Believe in yourself. Sedna's slow roll through the cosmos has witnessed our evolution as we learn to cultivate crops, trade goods, build houses. She saw the industrial revolution, the technological revolution, the digital revolution. She is the relentless passing of ages, and yet here, as she communes with the Pleiades, sometimes she weeps for the past, weeps for what was, weeps for what will never come again. Amidst her tears is her fervent wish that we hold on to what is truly precious. Reach for the stars, but don't forget your roots. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 101, Red Planetary Dragon. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its keywords are perfect, manifest, and produce. The tenth day of a wave spell is perfect for producing results. You can manifest what you need. It is a very helpful number, and whatever day it combines with, it creates improvement. The number 10 is essential in this calendar system because we have 10 figures and 10 toes to count on. We keep score using these 10 digits. Today is a 10 out of 10, and so enjoy this perfect day. Today is Red Dragon, which represents nurturing, being, and birth. The dragon is the symbol of Mother Earth, and the caves where dragons dwell are the mother's womb, and this is why dragons are associated with rebirth and nurturing. When combined with the planetary tone or number, we have a day that is perfect for rebirth, a perfect day to manifest much-needed nurturing. So take care of yourselves and others, expect new beginnings and opportunities, and be confident that you can manifest what you need to facilitate all these things. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Planetary Dragon, 10 Emish, Keen 101, 14th of May 2023, Manifesting New Birth, Perfecting Planetary Nurturance, Happy Mother's Day. 14 5 2023 equal 5 5 7 equal 5 12 equal 5 3 equal 8 5 5 liberation portal day codes 14 media publicity promotion recognition 5 freedom liberation change transformation 8 infinite abundant source flow month year codes 5 7 magic mystic spiritual solitude initiation 12. Acquiring Strength, Wisdom, 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, 
20, the Awakening, Clear Vision. 23, Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Keen 101 equal 2, Partnership, Cooperation, Duality. Tone 10, Manifestation Class 101. A day to hone your divine manifestation muscle and birth our new nurturing creations. Absolutely perfecto that we have a planetary nurturance code on this global day of honoring our mothers, all those beautiful souls throughout time who have birthed humanity. It is a day of honoring our mothers, grandmothers, and the whole matriarchal lineage, all the way back to our divine mother who has birthed all of creation. Divine Gratitude Day 10 in the Yellow Human Wave Spell of Wisdom, Influence, Intelligence, Free Will, and Abundance. Today we manifest wise choices that influence us to take responsibility for the purity of nurturing our bodies and caring for others. We can also use our free will and intelligence to birth our new ideas and manifest personal and planetary abundance. Tone of Creation, Planetary Tone 10 in the Physical Realm. Action produces power perfects essence manifestation. The tenth stage of the wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible, and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality, and our lives begin to reflect the deep soul longings that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with spirit today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness, and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Nova Gaia, as we are all one heart. The planetary tone of perfection and manifestation aligning with Mother's Day enables us as a global family to perfect the creation of nurturance on a planetary level. We are perfecting the expansion of love throughout the new harmonic matrix, which is birthing our beautiful new compassionate world. Trust in the magic of the larger pattern to provide what you need. Open your precious heart to receive. Communicate your feelings, desires, wishes, and dreams like the starry-eyed innocent child, knowing that one day all will be delivered with a beautiful bow on top and the most glorious package imaginable. Christ Mass is coming. Today's questions are, what is it that needs my care and attention to be birthed into creation? How can I assist in birthing our new reality and manifesting planetary abundance? Today provides a beautiful opportunity to gather with our kin, honoring our mothers and connecting through our precious hearts, giving gratitude for the remembrance that we are loved and supported throughout all of creation. Aho! Divine blessings for the manifestation of your wondrous and beautiful new creations. Hold the perfected vision of bliss on earth. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 101, Red Planetary Dragon. The mantra, the code for the day is, I perfect in order to nurture, producing being. I seal the input of birth with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of universal water. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Angel of the Light, Merit Bratberg, 
for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So if you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a very powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Meru Fitter, sharing a prayer of intent. Dearest God Almighty, Masters, Archangels, Angels, and my family of light, I intend to let go of my past and my story. I intend to be empty so I can absorb all the new positive energies sent by you. I intend to get better and better every day in every way and be totally focused on my ascension from this day on. I ask for help from you, Goddess, God, Masters, Guides, Angels, and my family of light to help me stay focused only on my path of light. I intend to have no past, no future, and focus on the now to improve myself and work with you all at all times. I intend to be a pure being of light so that you are proud of me. I intend to ascend as soon as possible and work with all celestial beings to help Mother Earth and all her peoples. I intend to love everyone unconditionally and be completely non-judgmental. I offer myself as an instrument of God to channel your many blessings to all life upon the planet that through me consciousness be raised and peace restored. I intend my covenant made before my birth be totally fulfilled. And so be it, and so it is. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed week ahead as we have this powerful new moon in Taurus on the 19th, and we journey into the sign of Gemini, the twins, as divine union comes together to usher in this age of infinite light, infinite love, and infinite life. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.